Hello everyone, my name is Speed Alligators and welcome to another video. And today we got our first look at Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. So this video will be teaching you how the Pack-A-Punch mechanics works in this game as of right now. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies, multiplayer, and just content in general from the game. Now, for those of you who are unaware, there are certain people in the community who got the game early and are actually playing it right now, except for multiplayer. There was a little bit of room for multiplayer, but for the most part, it's just been for the campaign and for zombies. Notable people are The Gaming Revolution, Exclusive Ace, and Noah J, along with a few other big names in the Call of Duty community. Now, to be 100% honest with all of you guys, I actually have not played this game yet. I've just seen gameplay and just watched some videos, but I do think I have a good understanding about the game. Of course, as more time passes and when more people get the game, we will probably learn more about the mechanics and other stuff like that, but for now, we're just going to be looking at the pack-a-punch mechanics that we know. Now, for those of you who have played Zombies, you probably know in every single game except for Black Ops 4, it was just a one pack-a-punch and done, except for the ammo conversions in Black Ops 3, but that doesn't really count. So, essentially, what they've done is they've mixed Black Ops 4 and the other Call of Duty games' mechanics and kind of made it into a really neat system. So initially, to pack a punch your gun is $5,000 as usual. It gives you upgraded damage and a couple other things as well, just like a standard pack a punch. But the real twist is actually in the repack a punching abilities and the ammo conversions. So as you can see on screen right now, I don't know the price for the last one, but the initial pack a punch is $5,000, the second one is $15,000, and I'm pretty sure the one after that is $20,000. I shouldn't really say dollars, it's more 20,000 points, and also, keep in mind, for every single zombie elimination, you get 90 points for killing a zombie, and 115 points for killing a zombie with a headshot or meleeing them. But the real twist in mechanics, other than that first one, is ammo conversions. You actually can choose which ammo conversion you get, unlike the previous games. Now, keep in mind, each ammo conversion costs 2,000 points, which is actually decently cheap, it's actually 500 points cheaper than the ones in BO3. Of course, I don't know how affected they are because I haven't actually seen any gameplay where people get the ammo conversions and I actually haven't played for myself yet. Now, the ammo conversions you can choose are either fire, electricity, freeze, or ice, and poison. Now, I imagine these will function similar to how they did in BO3 where the napalm one or the fire one will make zombies next to them on fire. The one that is frozen will freeze the zombies, and the poison one will probably cause a little bit of damage to the zombies around it, but the electricity one I don't know really yet. Because I'm thinking it will be like the other one where it just spreads to other zombies, but maybe they'll change it up a bit. And so with that, we will conclude the video. That's all I really had to say about zombies so far, but we will learn more as more people get access to it and as we play it more. And so make sure to subscribe to the channel and also like the video if you did enjoy. And as always, I will see you all next time.